There he comes. That's him, huh? Woo See that? I taught Travis Kelsey everything he knows. <laughs> 214. 214. Where'd you guys come up here from? I'm, I'm from Oklahoma. That's what I thought. And my son, he's from uh, Ross. Dr. Ross. Ross. Well, here, come talk to us real quick. Tell us the story about the day a little bit. Oh, this is our first time. Yesterday was our first time fishing up here. And we just did what we did on our own lake. So it's tough. Just rolled the dice and yeah. got with it. Did you yeah. stay in the clean water or did you head up to dirty water? We went dirty water, then went to clean water. We caught fish on both sides. A lot of shorts. Well, we appreciate y'all coming okay. up, especially all the way from Oklahoma. Um, the sign-up sheet for next year, also all you anglers out there, the sign-up sheet for next year is open over here. You can pre-pay and get your name in for an early boat number. So if you want to go ahead and sign up for next year, uh, go ahead and do that. But we sure do appreciate y'all. We hope to see you come back. There's cold drinks in the back left corner and there's barbecue right back there that's open. Hang around. we got some door prizes and drawings and stuff they're going to draw four forts over. Number five, Parker and Scanlon. Looks to be like they had one fish, but it looked to be a good fish. Real nice fish right there. Five fifty one, five fifty one. Wait, I guess the pictures right here, fellas. Got our camera lady ready. Right down here in front. I don't want to hold it. I didn't get you. <laughs> get in there. Ready? Awesome. Thank you. All right, we're gonna get that dude to a tank full of oxygen really quickly. Great fish, you guys. Next up, Inglehart and Ward, boat number 21. Boat 21 coming in. They've got one fish as well. Bring it on in. Yes. Well, you know what? There is a small bag prize, two pounds even. Two pounds even. So there could be, it might hold up. And I think Donnie isn't in the small bag pays is it five hundred? Five hundred dollars for the smallest bag. Oh, we did. That's pretty small. Number seven, Glenn Wilson and Erica Jones coming in on the crappie side. How many fish you got today? Seven fish. Looks like a real good bag right here. Real good bag. 803. 803. You got one you want to wait for? Whoa. 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 You got one you want to wait for a big fish? Pretty well cookie cutters, ain't they? Yeah, we get into the big ones today. Yeah. All right. Let's see what he goes. I'm going to say 131. 141. Great job. You guys stay in the grand? Yep. We go all the way all the way up the bridge. All the way to the bridge. Buck Saw Resort Marina for this fine establishment. Clinton Tourism Association, Jim Rasick, Everhart's Outdoors, Golden Valley Memorial Healthcare, Hawthorne Bank, Alan Stevens, Tech Electronics, Mike Keith Insurance, Donnie Cook, Pow Meat Company with the barbecue back here, Oak Star Bank, Parks Cabinets, Gates Floor and More, Groff Dental Studio, Hughes Cabins by the Lake, Susie. That's uh, Susie's place down there. If you're looking for a cabin down here, uh, just get with her. She'll tell you all about those. United Methodist Women and Crest. Crest toothpaste, I see. That side right here. I see some heavy hitters in the parking lot and a couple of a couple of local legends. Heim and Heim coming in on the bass side. Some more great bass anglers right here on Truman Lake. There he is. I think you got a box full there, my friend. 
We've got a nice limit of bass. That's our first limit of bass for the day. And they're going to weigh 12.50. 12.50. You want to hold a couple up? Where's your partner at? There she is. I'm going to have you. Big fish is 5.50. <laughs> I'm going to have you guys hold a couple up. And then I want to hear her side of the story. <laughs> Did you get a big fish today? No. We'll actually put them in this one right here. I keep on, I weigh in this same crate, keep consistency. Don't run off on me. Here you go, girls. There you go. I'll give you this. All right. So, arm of the lake you fished. Osage. Osage arm, made the run. Made the long run. Um, bike good early or late? All day. All day, good bike. How many bass do you think you caught total? 20. Woo! 20 fish. Nice. Well, congratulations. That's the first limit of the day. Hopefully, we'll see you here soon. All right. <laughs> Kyle? And they've got one bass. And that one bass. 175, 175. There is a small bag prize. He might be it. He might be it. Is that the only one you caught today? That's all we got. Keeper. Only keeper, a lot of short fish. Six short fish. It's a grind, especially in this heat, wasn't it? Is this the first time you got to fish this? No? All right, we're going to see you again next year. All right, appreciate it. Good job, guys. Boat number 49, Chris Bridges, Steve Prince, two very, very good bass fishermen here on, Crop, on uh, Truman Lake. And they got a box full. What are you doing, brother? Just fishing. Good day? Oh, it was pretty tough, really. Yeah. Kept at it, really catching it. Absolutely. Nice limit right here. 1307, I think that's going to take the lead. 1307, 550's lead, and I don't see any, any of those in here. <laughs> we'll visit here in a minute. Oh. I'm doing good. So, you stay here on the Grand or the Osage? We're on the Grand. The Osage got nervous, so we didn't go there. Right on, right on. A lot of fish are just. Got what you had. We probably had 10 or 12 keepers for until we went to it. It way to work at it. It was pretty tough. Come, yeah. A couple of windows, got 30, 40 minutes worth of day. What do you attribute it to? I don't know. Same yeah. lake level and high. Well, it's it's tough because it's September, the transition, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're kind of kind of fall shad, but yet they're still wanting to be in some of their summer stuff. And it's, right. it's kind of fun. Did you catch them flipping or? Caught most of them on the bottom. Yeah, good. Good. Well, we appreciate you. You guys have fished this every year, I believe. Yeah, I had the best last year. So yep. Yep. He fished it by himself. What's the name? Boat number 37. Weighing one fish for 240. 240. Campbell and Rogers. Campbell and Rogers. It looks like they've got a nice limit. Twelve oh three. Twelve oh three. That's a good limit. Tell us about your day. Did you stay here in the Grand Arm or did you go elsewhere? No, we went up the Osage. Went up the Osage. Made the long run. What'd you catch them all on, if you don't mind? You don't have to be specific. Uh, big worm. Big worm. Flip it. Right on. Well, we appreciate you. Come back next year? Yep. Good deal. Don and Brian Tabor on the crappie side. Don and Brian Tabor on the crappie side. Hey, Jeff. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing well. Good to see you. Oh, 
Oh, he's got a way up. Oh. There goes Jeff. Look at here, look at here. A nice slam of the crappie. This guy knows how to do it. 680, 680. Got one you want to wait for a big fish? Yeah, I, I, one, I yeah. see that. I see the one that he stands out. 155, 155. Man, that's a good day. Did you catch a bunch of them? No, not really. Yeah. It was kind of tough. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of been the rumor today. Yeah, it did. We put it right in front of them and they just get off. Right on. Well, that's a big crappie right now. Doug Long, and I don't know if he's standing out there. Is Marty with you? He's out there somewhere. Doug Long, Marty Watson, right here on Truman Lake. Let's do them. Let's do them all. 551. Do them all first. 1482. That's what's leading, I believe. Yep. We're gonna weigh a weigh a big fish here. Marty Watson, Doug Long. Oops, sorry, Marty. Four thirty, four thirty, nice limit. Did you guys stay here in the grand? Yeah. Stay in the grand. These guys so far, have, uh, all these are all familiar faces. Most of them have fished every year so far. So that is our leader right now, fourteen eighty-two. Marty Watson, Doug Long, right here in Clinton, Missouri. Next up, we got uh, Curry and Thomas, a couple of local fellas. Come on, Bruce. They've got a nice limit. How was it? Tough. Tough, he said. 1126. 1126. Stay. A lot of shorts, he said. You catch them all flipping or? Worms. 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 That's been the story. Christian Delosier, Dave McCormick. Mr. McCormick's no stranger to the bass scene. Right here, my friend, they've got a nice limit. Steady as she goes, fish. Work with me. He's mad. We're going to take the lead right there with 1497. 1497. Yep. We're going to weigh one for big fish right here. Big fish right now, I think, is 551. And I think this one's going to come in close. But not quite. 468. 468. Did you guys stay in the Grand today or did you go to the Osage? Or? All the way to the Palmy. David is no no stranger to this bass fishing at all, and you can follow him on is it Fish 30? Fish 30 on his YouTube channel's got a lot of good information, tips and tricks, and a lot of stuff. Uh, even like right here on Truman Lake, um, and even all over little lakes around the, around the area. So appreciate you coming out. Hope to see you again next year. Mike Crum, Kelly Rapschlager, the limited crappie, a bunch of black ones. I'm assuming you caught him shallow. Got him shallow. You gotta zero this out. Got all that bass slime on there. I wanna make sure I do you justice. <laughs> 732, 732. Bunch of black crappie. Did you stay here in the Grand? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Great job, guys. Is this your first year? You gonna come back next year? All right, excellent. Reach and Bennett, a couple more local legends here on Truman Lake. <laughs> Daryl and John's been around a long time. How you doing, bud? It was a long day. It was a long day. How many did you catch total, you reckon? Keepers. Just the five. That's it. 
That's been the story. We got what we had. They're plenty alive, ain't they? 1315, 1315. I got 551 big fish. <laughs> Did you catch them flipping, cranking, all real shallow? Beating the bank, huh? Yep. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys. I know you guys fished this at least the last few years, haven't you? Been, you've been here every year, yeah. So we appreciate you and hope to see you again next year. All right, thank you. Ed Matthews, Tom Starford. Oh. Dan Doan and Andy on the crappie side. Hey guys. Got a limit of seven. What's my big fish over there? 593. 593. Got a 155 big fish. Got a pound and a half in there? Okay. Thank you, bud. Good job. Line and knee kern on the bass side. Boat number 40 coming in with two fish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 503. 503. Tyler Ford. On the crappie side. Tyler Ford. How are you, brother? Good. Got a nice limited crappie right here. This is gonna, this is gonna look good on the scale. 861, 861. You got one over a 155 in there? I do. I think so, as well. Is that the new leader? All right, that's our new leader overall, and we're gonna weigh one for big fish. 195, 195, great fish. Let's get a couple of pictures real quick. Yeah. That's your leader in the crappie and big fish right now. Excellent job. Once again, I want to thank Powell Meat Company for the barbecue back there, Bucksod Resort Marina for the facilities, Patterson Dental, Clinton Tourism Association, Jim Rasick. Chrysler Dodge. Boat number 41, Hermanson and Strauss. Got some bass to weigh in. Looks like they're gonna bring three to the scale. How's it going, fellas? What arm of the lake did you fish? I'll give you that thing. Actually, uh, the motor went out, so we were just we were forced to fish a bunch of bank around here. Interesting. Big motor went out, huh? Yeah. So you just fished here close to the marina? Yep, right across. I've seen many, many, many tournaments, and I'm sure Reach and Bennett and Prince and Bridges and Rich Campbell and all these locals out here, raise your hand if anybody's ever weighed in fish out of Hamburger Hole. <laughs> so, yeah. Everybody. So. Sometimes it's a blessing to curse. 660 and three fish, 660. What'd you catch him on? Uh, plastic worm and uh, clickbait. Clickbait. Awesome. Well, we appreciate you guys. You coming back next year? Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Awesome. Look forward to seeing you. You always hate to hear that when a fellow angler's boat goes down because we've all been there. If you've owned a boat, you've never been towed in, you're lying. <laughs> This guy right down in front right here with his camera is Tyler Mahoney. He's here with Truman Lake Fishing Intel, and he'll have all this information up on the Truman Lake Fishing Intel website. Uh, there's a lot of good information about Truman Lake, whether it's bass, crappie, catfish, um, no matter what arm of the lake, there's daily fishing reports. A lot going on right there at TrumanLakeFishingIntel.com. Also, I'd like to thank Mike Keith Insurance, Donnie Cook, Tech Electronics, Hawthorne Bank, Oak Star Bank, Parks Cabinets, Gate Floor More, and Drop Dental Studios. A lot of people partner together to come make this happen. This is the fifth year for this tournament, or the seventh year, or I'm not sure how many years we've been doing. How many years have we been doing this? Seventh year. Man, time flies. Mercy. Seventh year we've been doing this, and I know we've seen a lot of the familiar faces done it every year. We hope to see you again next year. Um, all this, this is all for uh, 
nonprofits, Big Fish, Bright Future, all this money raised is going to go to help uh, kids with uh, dental stuff. So they take care of a lot of, uh, of underprivileged. Um, oral health is very important, and we want to make sure that uh, that's out there. So we got a white and white coming in on the bass side. Now these guys have definitely fished it. The father-son duo, and you guys, have you fished every year? Yeah. I think so. They've fished every year. They've got one fish, and it weighs 185. 185. Appreciate you guys. We're going to see you next year. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. We appreciate you. Craig Hansen, Allison Peters coming in on the crappie side. Craig's no stranger to fishing on Truman Lake. They've got a seven fish limit. And I believe this will take the lead at 985. 985. Got a 155 big fish, I believe. So, okay. I'll let you pick it out. Oh, 195 big fish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, that's right. So, let's uh, grab two. And you grab two. Okay. And we're going to take your picture. <laughs> Great sack of fish right there, 985 and 7 crappie. What's the name? There we go. Boat number 36, Baker on the bass side bringing in a limit. They've got a limit of five. Eleven fifty-two, eleven fifty-two in five fish. We're gonna get your picture, but tell us what arm you arm you fish today. Uh, Osage. On the Osage arm. Flipping. Uh, everything. Everything. Picture lady. Yep. Here we go. All right, man. Appreciate you. We're gonna see you again next year. Yes. All right. Thank you. Next up on the crappie side, Hunter Bowling and Darren Lankford. Two very good crappie anglers right here on Truman Lake. They've been in the top five of I don't know how many tournaments right here this year. But they've had a great, great year. Back here watching the weigh-ins, Dalton and Larry Gorham. They're the Missouri State champions from last weekend in the Crappie Masters. You don't have to throw them at me, Hunter. Nice bag of fish with a real nice kicker right there. These boys got a load. I don't even know they want to weigh all seven. 1091. 1091. And you want to weigh her for big fish? Yep. We're going to take pictures right down in front. We'll weigh this old girl right here. Zero out the scale. 199. 199. Ready? Next up on our crappie side, Perfect. Kevin Pitts and Travis Mace. Two more very good crappie anglers right here on Truman Lake. Also, one to throw them at me. Do the nice limit of seven. Fish going everywhere. Real nice bag. 919. 919. Got a 199 big fish. All right. Hold up a couple of those. Boy, them fish are cold. That's why they're jumping out of that deal. These guys, all these tournament anglers out here, if you're a spectator, these guys know how to manage their fish. That's why you see them jumping out of these boxes. Take a couple there and get your picture. And I'm going to hand this crate to this other young lady. And as soon as you get your picture took, you can drop them back in here. These guys keep their live wells very cold, treated, and keep these fish healthy. Next up is Mike Friend, another great angler right here on Truman Lake. Mike's got a good limit. Eight twelve. 812. Here, hold a couple of those up, Mike. Mike's been around the crappie tournament scene a long time. 
and he knows how to catch crappie right behind you, buddy. Matt Wareham and Ashley Wareham on the crappie side. If you came in and you're not weighing fish in, I still need you to come up in and check in with these girls so that we know that you're in safely and when the tournament's all over, we're not looking for you. So if you're not weighing fish, please come up and check in. I'd like to thank United Methodist Women, Press, Hughes Cabin by the Lake. Matt and Ashley with a nice bag of fish. I believe that'll be a new leader at 1161. Got a big fish at 199. Hold up a couple of these. He caught them all, or you caught them all, didn't you, Ashley? <laughs> Husband and wife team right there. Matt's been fishing these tournaments all season long, and last year they've been doing very, very well. He knows how to get it done here on Trimmer Lake as well. I believe that's a new overall leader. Also, I'd like to thank Everett Hearts Outdoor, Golden Valley Memorial Hospital, and all the people that you see rolling around in these teal shirts. They've all volunteered their time today. Here today representing Groff Dental Studio. Everybody say hi, Lynette Bowling. <laughs> right over here, helping manage our fish, is the owner of Bucksaw right here, Rick Gilly out there, guys. They provide this facility every single year. Um, keep it up nice, get us what we need, and we appreciate them, and they get these fish back in the lake happy and healthy. So we thank them for that. All right, the weigh-in line is closed. We'll have about 15 minutes. These girls are going to tally everything up, get checks ready, and we'll divvy up some money. We'll do a raffle draw, all sorts of good stuff. Memorial Healthcare, Alan Stevens, Hawthorne Bank, Tech Electronics, Mike Keith Insurance, Donnie Cook, Kyle Meat Company, Oak Star Bank, Parks, Cabinets, Gates, Floormore, Grop Dental Studio, Hughes Cabins by the Lake, United Methodist Women, and Crest Tooth Products. So those are some of the sponsors for this event. Uh, Kyle Meat Company is doing the barbecue back there, so make sure you check in on that. If you're not an uh, event angler, you're just a watch, uh, want to come in and enjoy and watch, you can buy a meal ticket right over here get in on some of that good barbecue. There is a keg of beer in the corner. Uh, I think they got some tea and water and other whatnots back there. These guys are getting their checks all collected back here. We'll give you up some money. I want to thank everybody for coming out. We hope to see you again next year. This is the seventh annual, and I think this is the largest year so far. So with the uh, country and the state it's in and everything going on, it's, had a few more restrictions, but really glad that everybody was able to come out and uh, make this one of the biggest events so far. So thank you guys for that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with will be the small bag on the crappie side. That's going to be Corey Mantonia and Adam Danes. Danes and Mantonia. I bet they left because they didn't think they were going to win. What's that pay? Three hundred and thirty-three bucks for catching the smallest bag. The funny part of that whole story is, and I want everybody to listen it up real close, is on that small bag prize you could bring in one fish. These guys brought in seven crappie as a limit thinking that they had to have the smallest bag. So all day long they couldn't catch any big fish. So they were like trying to catch line wiping nine inchers. But they brought all seven of them. It was like We were like, why'd you weigh all seven? All you had to do was weigh one. Well, we thought you had to have a limit. They still want small bags. <laughs> but they could have only weighed in one fish. So remember that next year, you only need one. All right, let's go ahead and do the largest, well, let's go the biggest crappie. The biggest crappie of the whole tournament is going to go to Hunter Bowling and Darren Langford for the $199, $160 for the big fish. Congratulations. Good job, guys. There's a picture taking lady somewhere. Right. <laughs> Here she is. Stand right in front of that deal so they get that in the background there. 
we're going to give out all these prizes, and then there's going to be a random drawing for the mixed couples, which is a man-wife team or father-daughter, whichever one. Um, and that's going to pay 583 bucks. So, yeah. So next, let's do the third place, paying $216. Craig Hansen, Alison Peters. Third place in the crappie side with 985. Good job, guys. Great job, crew. Second place, Hunter Bowling and Darren Langford weighing 1091. 360 bucks. They got 160 for Big Fish and 360 for second place, so they'll have a little bit of spending money to split up. All right, and in first place, $864. Matt and Ashley Wareham weighing 1161. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and while, before we get a picture, we also had the largest bag for another 333 bucks. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna do the bass side. We'll start with the small bag. There we go. Holy smokes, 833 bucks for the smallest uh, bass. Well, I'm gonna mess this up. Hora and Hora. Booyah. 833 bucks, fellas. These guys told me they was jacking 10 pounders all day, but they were going for this small back prize. Large bag. Let's save that one for first place. I think it's going to be the same yeah, uh, deal. So let's do the biggest bass. With a 551, if my memory serves me correct, Parker and Scanlon. 551. I asked him what he caught it on. He said a black jelly bean under a bobber. What did he catch it on? Spinnerbait. Caught it on a spinnerbait. That's the first time I've heard that today. Everybody said, worm, worm. Or spinnerbait. Sixth place, $125, Campbell and Rogers. In fifth place, winning $264, Heim and Heim. There you go. In fourth place, winning $422, Chris Bridges and Steve Prince. In third place, weighing 13.15, there reach John Bennett. 528 bucks. These guys have been here every year as well. We sure do appreciate them. Another team that's fished this every year, I think, so far. Second place, $792, Marty Watson and Doug Long. It was really close between first and second. Marty and Doug weighed 1482. 1482. So our second place team right here, Marty Watson, Doug Long with 1482. And our first place also winning the biggest bag of the tournament. So so the large bag is gonna pay 833 bucks. And guys, this is pretty exciting. This thing is just keeps on growing a little bit every year. And first place this year is going to pay $3,170. To David McCormick and Christian Delosier. So in total, they're going to win right at $4,000. Congratulations, guys. Thank you for fishing. Right over here, guys. $3,170 for first place and $833 for the largest bag of the tournament. So, you do the math. That's a pretty good payday. <laughs> good job, guys. I'm gonna let Donnie, I'm gonna get Donnie a microphone. I'm gonna let her talk for a minute. 
So again, I just want to say thank you so much. It's, it's you guys that make this happen. And um, just so you know, the, the money that we make on this tournament helps kids and families get the oral health that they need. We know that kids lose lots and lots of hours of school every year because they have either pain or just um, some social issues um, regarding dental services. So um, it helps um, get children and families the services that they need. So we can't tell you thank you enough for um, participating in this tournament and helping us serve our families. So thank you very much. The other thing we know is that um, Jeff and Natasha Falconberry help us every year with this tournament. They do so much work to make this successful. They consult with us throughout the year. And then Jeff is an amazing MC. We can't tell him thank you enough. So here's a little gift certificate for him and Natasha. Maybe they can have a night out. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, guys.